Welcome back inside the Now Morning Show. We're celebrating Father's Day this morning and I want to welcome back to the show a gentleman who fairly recently became a father. And we're going to talk about that transition from being a superstar to a super father. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome college boy Jesse. Good morning. How are you this morning, <laughs> sir? I good, man. Blessed. Blessed. Happy to be here. Yeah, man. Yeah, Give yeah, thanks yeah. and praises for that. Yeah. How has it been going for you, fatherhood? <sighs> it's a challenge. Mm. I, I would start like that because it's something that you can't really prepare for. You have to be in it. To, it's on the job training, right? It's on the job training. Yeah. So, I mean, it's been a process. It's been fun times and also the tiring times. You know, you get less sleep than you usually would. Um, you? Yeah. The soccer star? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Don't sleep at all for I'm, whole season? I'm, I'm hands-on. I'm hands-on. Mm. Yeah, I'm hands-on. Um, I had a father who was hands-on, so I kind of get an example. And it's like, you know, if you're seeing the result of, you know, the efforts from somebody else, you're like, if you really want that result, you have to put in the same effort. So mm -hmm. um, that is basically my approach to it. Yeah. What, has been, what has been some of the biggest challenges so far for you? The balance of finding time for creating... And you know, father is, is, is a full time job, mm -hmm. so it's just that balance. And especially with the job that I do, things happen fast. So, sometime in planning, you know, we tend to have that little mishap with, Oh, I have to be here, but no, okay, we are a quality sitter. So, yeah. mm -hmm. a lot of times, we tend to have us uh, somebody there full time a to support, and, right yeah, 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 busy time. So, yeah, mm -hmm. that's one of the things you mentioned is your father as yeah, well being yeah. present. How important was that to you growing up and now where you are in your career and as a father? Vital. Yeah. I believe that his role in my life is basically, you know, that made me who I am mm -hmm. in every single way. Um, his support, he wasn't just there sometimes, he was there all the time, even when he didn't have to be there. Mm -hmm. um, in every single thing that I do from, I mean, he was a, a teacher, so with academics, of course, he would be hands-on. Um, he also was an athlete in his time, so in sports, he was there for everything. Every mm -hmm. training session, every game, my teammates knew him like if he was the coach. Yeah. Yeah. Um, even in culture, he was there hands-on. Every Calypso competition, he mm -hmm. was there for Soka Monarch. Every single thing, you know, just being there, supporting. Um, and I think that was basically vital in, in who I am as a person and the successes that I've been able to achieve so far. That's something that's so beautiful. Have you noticed already some of your father's traits being passed down to you and now as you are a father, you're emulating them? By force. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if I could be half as great, you know, the things that, you know, I've seen him do, not just for me, I'm a siblings, but he, he was a father to many people. Mm -hmm. um, so if I could be half as great, you know, and by force, I want to be there for, for my daughter the same way, yeah. One of the things you mentioned just now was finding time to, to still create uh, while being a father. Has, yeah. Do you think that, that this full-time job now of being a father has impacted your creativity? Definitely. Um, she inspires a lot of things that, you know, it, it, she's, I'm learning from her, it's crazy. Yeah. On the creative side of things, I'm learning from her. I'm getting to understand what she's catching on to, mm -hmm. you know, being... 17 months a day, and I would play music for her and pay attention to what she is oh, catching on to. And I was like, yeah. yo, if a 17 year month old could grab onto this, then okay, this element working. Yeah. And I would see the stuff that she's missing. Or she know, I was like, now, nah, okay, I might need to go back to the drawing board with this. <laughs> so I'm learning. You have a new testing <laughs> audience. Yeah, I definitely have a new <laughs> testing audience. And um, so, yeah, that is basically the experience there. How important is it for you to, to manage the adult side of things, the relationship with you and your wife, um, while still maintaining, you know, yeah, parental that, roles? Yeah, that, that's very important. And we're still trying to work around that because a lot of times, you know, it's, it's three of us. Um, so we try to and find that time. for the next 10 years. Yeah, so, so <laughs> to find those moments, you know, where we could keep dating and keep the relationship, you know, alive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's where we're still trying to find the balance in that. Um, and also at the same time, you know, now we always say our oh, life is over. It's all about the child and yeah. their aspirations and their stuff we have to support. But it's also finding that balance of completing the things individually that we want to do and, and keep our life going. So, I mean, it's a journey. Yeah. It sounds like a journey. Now, yeah. would this carnival have been your first carnival as a father? Yes. What was it like? Tell us your experience. It was amazing. Generally, it was amazing, mm -hmm. um, but of course, it was very challenging because we know how fast-paced carnival is. Mm -hmm. 
and with no sleep all day, every day, you're just going, going. And then there were times where I wouldn't see her because the times when I go on, you know, she's sleeping, sleeping. Like, it would have mm -hmm. those moments. But those the few moments where we could kind of interact and get her involved was, was special. You know, she played mass for the first time too, Kitty's nice. Carnival. Um, she also celebrated her birthday at my concert. So, you know, that was real special moments, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And how important is it for you to include her in those moments when you can? Very important. Um, as early as it is now for her to be involved and to see, you know, what daddy job is like. It's not a traditional, you know, role. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the usual. It's very unique and it's for her to you know, see that side also and see that there's opportunities in doing something, Yeah. you know. But you know what I've realized, Jesse? It's like, you know, our jobs are fairly public jobs, right? Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, like, my daughter sees this as a normal job. Like, daddy right. going to work and he on TV. Like, that's not a big deal anymore for her. It was when she was, like, three right. months old, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, look, daddy on TV. But now it's like, yeah, daddy going to work. Yeah. And it becomes yeah. very, very normal. So, yeah. it's similar to what Shaka was saying just now. It's like, you know, children adapt. They yeah. adapt. They yes. adapt. Yeah. So, if it is daddy's on stage, like, my daughter has no qualms about walking on a stage. Like, she would right. walk on a stage in front of hundreds of people yes. just talk. And I'm like, how yeah. are you doing? How are you doing? And it's because that daddy job, so I can yeah. do that too. Exactly. And it's exactly. as easy as that. Exactly. How important exactly. is the example that you are for your children, your child? Very important. Because even some of my bad habits, I see like, ah, boy. <laughs> yeah. now you see it. Yeah. yeah. Now you could basically see some of the things that, you know, like, nah, you need to do better. Nah, mm. because and she it keeps see you in check, right? She's emulating every single aspect. So it keeps me in check. Um, so it's important. I, I, I'm very conscious of, of, of that now. Yeah. Um, so one thing is quite interesting is both of you spoke about having children and being in this industry. Did you have any hesitation about bringing her on board immediately? And were there some things that perhaps you had to just mull through before including her? Um, to be quite honest, I would like to expose her to as much, I don't know, as much things where she could find herself. Okay. It's not a situation of forcing her within my industry at all. It's, it's, exposing her so she could, you know, decide on what she's passionate about. Um, and, and that is where we start now with the same program. And I think that is what my parents did with us. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the same that I like to do with her, you know, expose her to as much things. Yeah. She find herself and then we support it in that way. Yeah. Well, Jesse, I want to congratulate Jenny Jenny so far. I know that um, is on the job training. But Definitely. I mean, the fact that she's still alive and she's doing <laughs> yes, good, yes. I feel like that's that to be win. celebrated. That, that is, is a win. win. That is a win. <laughs> and, uh, I want to say congratulations to you and happy Father's Day. Thank you. Same to you. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Same to you. And all the fathers out there, of course. So as we're saying <laughs> that as well, so Jesse, happy Father's Day Thank to you. you. Rockers, happy you, Father's Day. <laughs> to the gentlemen upstairs, Hurdis, Gary, and everybody else, ha happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Father's Day to our entire team. What about me? Happy Father's Day to you as well. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Sayo. Happy Father's Day, Nick. Happy Father's Day, everybody. Have a good one. Ladies and gentlemen, and mostly gentlemen, I encourage you to go out there and make a difference today now because together we aspire, and if together we perspire, then together we most definitely can achieve. On behalf of Natasha Lake and the entire team here at TTT, including college boy Jesse Amorokas, wishing you a beautiful day, a happy Father's Day weekend. Blessings. Tonight so we could love our